uh, let me at this point in time also introduce uh, Mr. Rajesh Thakkar. He's joining us uh, with his perspective on the kind of uh, changes that we're looking at. Uh, Mr. Thakkar, good to have you with us. As far as uh, uh, you are seeing what uh, SEBI has done with regard to insider trading, what are your initial reactions? I, I guess uh, these provisions were something which were to be kind of looked at uh, for some time now. So, you know, we, we'll obviously need to read, read, read the fine print to understand more as to what would be the consequences. But I, I guess uh, some of the suggestions are welcome. So, we'll, as, I, as I mentioned, we'll need to look at the fine print before we can really comment upon uh, or, or what are the, the, you know, the, the pros and cons of these provisions. The timelines for completing uh, the delisting process has been reduced uh, from 137 calendar days to 76 uh, working days. How do you see that? As I think that's a big respect to the entire process because all along there have, there have been kind of issues as to, you know, the process has been is, is quite long, for, uh, almost four months. Uh, so if, if, if that, is kind of, if that is kind of cut short, of course the suggestion was to cut it down to almost 60 days, but if, if, even if it means 70, 75 days, it's, it's not too far from what was suggested earlier. So it's, it's certainly a welcome move and, and relief for all the corporates looking at, you know, the, this process going forward. Also, there is the option uh, to be acquired or to delist the shares of the company directly through delisting uh, regulations uh, pursuant to triggering takeover regulations that has been provided now. So if the delisting attempt fails, it says, the acquirer would be required to complete the mandatory open offer process under the takeover regulations and pay an interest at 10% uh, for the delayed open offer. How do you think that's going to be taken? I, I think that's a little complex one because, uh, I mean, uh, these are two separate re regulations. So if, if, if one wants to look at, uh, adopt the delisting uh, regulations, uh, and if, if uh, the, the process does not go through successfully, then that was the end of it. But now if the SEBI is requiring that, if not delisting, then take over code, then that, I think that adds little complexity to the way the transactions will be looked at going forward. Uh, sir, how do you read the insider trading norms that have been re rehauled and uh, uh, how do you read that impacting, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the current uh, cases perhaps that are going on? Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll, as I told you, we'll need to read the fine print before we can really comment upon wh what kind of impact would, would, would it have on the current cases. So I would, I would not want to uh, talk much at, at this point of time on that provision. But, but tell us about the delisting process and uh, how that has made you, of course, talked about how timelines have reduced, uh, uh, have, will help the companies. But, but by and large, uh, uh, what are the key uh, immediate uh, effects of this that we will see from companies and the reactions from them? Yeah, so uh, I, I think, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that, you know, the, uh, earlier the process was to get shareholder approval, then and then the stock exchange approval, and then only thereafter you go into the delisting de offer. Uh, if, if these processes have been cut short, it certainly brings a lot of respect to, uh, to, the, to, to the transactions going forward, and people will be uh, more kind of inclined to look at this, uh, this kind of a transaction rather than, you know, uh, doing things which would otherwise not be uh, corporate friendly. Mr. Gupta, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first question to you would be, uh, this is a bare bone structure as far as uh, the insider trading regulations are concerned. Of course, the final uh, guidelines will, uh, will be uploaded by uh, SEBI later. Uh, but just to quickly...